Rod Stewart, we all still think he's sexy, right? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of Yorkshire today. Hope you're all keeping well. Have you all unwrapped your presents? What did you think to them? Did you get what you wished for? It's always difficult, isn't it, when you're buying for others? I don't know about you, but I like to give people something they'll never forget. I'll leave you to work that out. But of course, it's back to your breaking world story of the day. Now, Rod Stewart, as you know, is one of those icons of pop. He's been going for decades now. And he's one of these people that truly is sort of, well, cemented in so many people's musical minds. He was with the Small Faces alongside Ronnie Wood. And of course, more importantly, has managed to really keep a career going, as I say, through so many decades. And what I like about Rod is he's also a favourite of the British monarchy. Truly, he truly, truly loves our monarchy. Monarchy. Now, Scottish Rod, right, he, um, he now lives in Essex, in uh, Epping, in fact. Lovely area. And did you know that Rod, in fact, is a massive model train enthusiast? Huge set. Uh, and we'll show it off at any opportunity, apparently. But what's interesting with Rod, he recently spoke out against the treatment that he feels our glorious Majesty the Queen has been given by Prince Harry and of course his wife Meghan Markle claiming on a TV show that he thought it was well rather disappointing uh, that Harry and Meghan didn't try to come over at least and spend some quality time with Her Majesty the Queen. Of ever, Rod was a gentleman and didn't mention the lady's age, but you kind of alluded as to what he was saying. Well, this really exploded in the media and a lot of people were siding with Sir Rod Stewart, as one can imagine. But here, as ever, is where the story gets interesting. Now, according to very good sources, thanks to Rod speaking out, uh, well, so admirably about Harry and Meghan and, of course, the way that he felt they treated Her Majesty the Queen. And actually, not just Her Majesty the Queen, but, of course, Harry's father, His Royal Highness Prince Charles too. It looks like he could be one of the major signings for the huge concert which is planned in June for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Now, you may be surprised by this, but Prince Charles is a huge Rod Stewart fan. But more importantly, so is Her Majesty the Queen. One of her favourite alongside Prince Philip's songs was Rod's 1975 mega hit, Sailing. This was the theme tune, of course, to one of those very early docudrama reality TV series. And according to a very good source, it became, as I say, a firm royal favourite. And you never know, you see, who's watching anything, because all thanks to speaking out in their defence, as I say, it now looks like Rod could be rocking for the Platinum Jubilee. As ever, when we know more, I'll share it with you. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.